hello guys uh, this is jagan from capital zone we after the expiry we are putting this video and uh, 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 most of the guys know that i am doing only intraday uh, i am doing system trading with respect to the intraday and positional wise i have a system but it is executed manually and i do lot of adjustment as well so so uh, for this expiry right so uh, ideally speaking uh, this positional would have given a loss and uh, intraday would have given a uh, uh, less profit okay so it is not a super profit it's close to one percent profit it would, have, it would have given but today actually it ended with two percent profit for my portfolio so I'm, I'm trying to explain the entire logic uh, what i did uh, to make this extra one percent profit so that's what i'm going to explain to you so this i can uh, separate into two pieces one is positional one and that i take from tuesday wednesday and uh, expiry day and second one is the same Friday. so let me explain one by one so what are the adjustments i did and uh, what was the thought process i i was having in my mind so, okay so let's go inside so this one actually wednesday so wednesday i used to create uh, tuesday uh, tuesday i used to create iron fly so iron fly i used to name as the uh, if okay so what is iron fly you need to sell atm call sell atm P put okay and then buy the hedge buy the call buy the put okay OTM so if market is going to stay in the same range you are going to make a pada profit if market is cracking down you will make a pada loss so that is the uh, nature of iron fly so the payoff of iron fly will look like how it look like this if market settles in this place, then you are going to make a huge profit. If market is trending, you will make a loss. Okay, so this and these inflows I will be creating from Tuesday to Wednesday. Okay, so how what is the inflow I created? Let's go over here. Okay, so this is um, Tuesday. Tuesday I created 35 400. So 34 400 will look like this. This is 35. 400 and fly it means that if market is going to settle in 35 400 i'm going to make a huge profit if market is coming down then i'll make a loss okay then the same day market was in 35 300 so i created one more okay and wednesday also market was in the same range so i created one more okay one more so this i had three this i had one so average close to what i what is the iron fly i had 35 330 that is the average iron fly head here i have one here i have a three so if market is going to be there in 35 350 then i make going to make a huge profit but my bad time market cracked tuesday market cracked down and wednesday also market came down so what i did okay so i did one more change so market came to 35 800 so i created one more iron fly at 35 800 Okay, so there are five and flies 35 400 1, 35 300 3, 35 8. Sorry, this is 34 800. Okay, 34 800 1. Okay, so the average came to 35, I think close to 240. Okay, 35 240. Okay, there, there are five and flies. So, how the iron fly payoff will, will look, including five and fly. Okay, let's go here. Okay, so 35 240. Okay. Okay, so close to 35,800, my break even, and 35,240, super duper profit, and above 35,500, loss. Here, pada profit. Here, pada loss. So this is the combined IF payoff. Okay, above this point, profit. Below this point, I mean, I mean, once you once you be here, you are in profit. This side actually you are in loss. Okay. Here loss, here loss. So I have drawn this iron fly horizontally so that you can imagine the price here. Okay, that is the reason why I have put this one. Okay, right. Now coming back, right. So next day there is a uh, inflation data, right. So I am really scared because already we are in the bottom of this iron fly. Okay, bottom of this iron fly. If you are here, then we would have been happy. Oh, next day you are going to make a profit. If market is going down here gap down here going to make a huge loss uh, of course the loss is going to be limited since uh, we have bought these uh, uh, hedges in iron fly but 
definitely uh, the loss will be huge because already we are in the border of the end flip, border of the payoff the payoff looks like this 35800 we are in danger zone for if okay 320 what i thought okay so exclude this 320 i created one more strategy what is that close to 35300 is right 35300 foot buy okay and 35500 sorry this is 34 500 sell this is 2 okay and 33 800 buy this is not important okay okay this is a buy this is sell 2 and this is buy it's called butterfly this is put butterfly okay market cracks down then i will make a profit in this put option bot option and then 34500 is a major support because highest to open interest is here highest to open interest is here which is almost 300 points 300 points below the spot so i sold 34500 put double the i mean double the quantities and then hedging 33800 put i bought okay this payoff will look like how the new payoff will look like new butterfly right will look how okay let me put the payoff here okay so this payoff will look like this this is butterfly one this is if butterfly and if okay, okay. now let's combine the payoff Okay. initially how it was initially it was like this this is if and this is butterfly okay so the combined one was okay the break even was close to 34 700 previously it was 34 800 this is if this is butter Fly. this is both so it's it's this uh, uh, this one is better okay I'm, I'm i'm more concerned about downside because we are in the bottom of the iron fly okay so this is the butterfly i added a, one more along with the f okay then what is next okay so the payoff looks like this Okay. better payoff okay next is tbt still i am not really convinced because my break even is close to 35200 i mean not break even the highest to profit i will get close to 35200 is the one actually where i will have a huge profit but market sentiment looks bad really bad by my conviction is market was trending down in tuesday and wednesday trending down i thought that Tuesday will not be a trending day. So, it's a very simple common sense. Two day trending day, the next day is going to be the uh, balance day or insider candle. But unfortunately, the market trended. Okay. So, next day morning, right? Before that, STBT, I sold 12 call and 8 put. Why, Jagan? It should be 12, 12, right? So, with hedging only, not, not without hedging. But the idea is since we are in the bottom of iron flay, so I started selling STBT. 12 call and uh, 8 put. This is called skewed iron condor or skewed short strangle. With the hedging, it's called skewed iron condor. Without hedging, it is called skewed uh, short strangle. Okay. So selling more call and less put because if market cracks down, my iron flay and butterfly will be in a danger zone, but I will get chota chota profit from the STPT. Okay. From the call because I sold many calls. Okay. What happened next day? Next day, market open sideways okay market open absolutely flat so i was in slight profit with my positional what is my positional three things okay one is iron flay second one is butterfly third one is stpt okay next market went up went up went up went up i had intraday right intraday okay once it reaches here in STBT, all the put option I sold came to 3 rupees, 4 rupees. I exited all of them. STBT put option completely I exited. Okay. So, what else we have? We have iron flay, we have butterfly, 
and stpt call option okay but i'm i did not cut this stpt 12 call okay for two reasons okay number one reason okay market went up all of my intraday call stop loss is hit i don't know any problem to carry and to keep this position open all call stop loss hit i don't have any problem to keep this stpt open so i kept my stpt open number one there is no margin issue at all because in day all call stop loss is hit by 11 o'clock right next okay if market is reversing back and it is coming to 35 200 it is good for my iron flay because my iron flay and butterfly will give maximum profit at 35 200 35 200 so i'm really ecstatic if market is reversing back because i will get a nice profit in positional but bad time bad time market started cracking down okay so this is the support and this is a resistance right there is a swing okay and above this swing if 60 percent of the swing is broken okay then there is a fair chance that the market may not touch the high again okay so simple calculation okay so once i did this calculation right around this point i exited the entire iron flay and butterfly with the profit close to this profit it is not a great profit close to 10k profit i exited for 25 lakhs for 25 lakhs it's very important okay 25 lakhs next what i did i had stbt call okay so once it cracks down i exited my iron fly and butterfly the only left item is stpt call options that also i kept it open it came to one rupee two rupees when market cracked down i exited all of them okay i have a so much margin in a call so what i did call option i exited and rolled down the call options call option i exited rolled down the call option Keep in mind that I did not touch my algo at all. Algo is selling call option, algo is selling put option, it is placing the stop loss. The only thing is, whatever the margin, it is free. Okay, using the pre free margin, I am selling call. Keep in mind that I am not selling additional call, I am rolling down the call. Rolling down my call. Because when you sell additional call, if market reverses, you will have a huge loss. So, my idea is different. Okay, so 1 rupee, 2 rupee, wherever it is. Cut it and 2 rupees, 20, uh, 10 rupees, 20 rupees, 30 rupees, wherever it is, sell it. Okay, so that is my idea. So I was rolling down my call. Uh, uh, as long as market is not breaking 34, 500 put, I'm completely okay. Why? Because this put I kept, keep in mind, in butterfly, right? So what we did? 34, 500 buy, here buy, and 30. 3500 put sell sorry 34500 33 sorry this is 35500 put sell 34500 put buy so sell here it is buy here it is sell one quantity two this will come to danger zone but unfortunately there was a highest open interest highest open interest market was settling here and it closed uh, close to 34660 okay so what is the change i have done okay with the iron flay I would have got only 0.2% return, but but with the modification, I got 0.5, okay. With intraday, I would have got only close to 1% return, but what is the return I got? 1.5% by selling additional call, okay. So, actual return, if I don't do modification, it is 1.2, actual return, what I got is 2%, okay. For my 4 crores capital, okay, it is clo close to 5.5 lakhs is the profit I would have got, but the actual profit I got is 8 lakhs. Okay, so guys, you had been doing a lot of strategies with the positional and intraday and STBT and overnight positions, right? So you need to combine everything into one single instance and accordingly you should cut your position, you should effectively use margins so that you will get extra profit, extra chunk. This extra chunk will give a confidence not only the profit will give a confidence in the market you will make a huge profit uh, by end of the year i hope this video is really useful thanks for watching i'll be back with one more video soon